I'm like practically in the middle of nowhere. I drove so far north just because some of our friends live here and I was just dropping Jenny off. I was driving in and I didn't see one restaurant. I have all of my apps on DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub. I have them all on, but I haven't received an order yet. Okay, so yes, we are in the furthest possible zone you can get out of Metro Phoenix. Uh, but since I didn't get an order, I'm actually gonna drive to an area that's like three and a half miles away that is supposed to be a busy shopping center. I'm deciding to do this because when I signed into this zone, the closest restaurant, like hotspot was like eight miles away. It looks like on Uber Eats that we are approaching a busy area. This could be really nice. I know I never expected that my earnings were gonna be that high today, but I'm just so shocked in like the 10 minutes I've had these apps on, I haven't received a single order from DoorDash, Uber Eats, or Grubhub. Uh, there were, I haven't seen a grocery store yet either, so I don't know if Instacart would even be able to help me out. I might as well go online and see what's out there, but it looks like they are building a grocery store right now, just off to my right. Uh, but it's not open yet. I'm gonna go check out this mall area. There has to be restaurants at this mall. If you can see past my dirty windshield, we have arrived at a mall area. Looks like there's Buffalo Wild Wings. We got Sauce, Five Guys. Oh, this is the place to be. Wait, is there only three restaurants? Is it just those three? Let's go this way and find out. There might only be three restaurants. We did get our first order from Uber Eats. I did not accept it though. It was going 10 miles and I was like, well, especially if I don't know where I'm going, 10 miles just seems kind of ridiculous. Like, I don't know if I would, like, I just don't know the area at all. So to go 10 miles away from this place, it doesn't make sense because I'd have to come 10 miles back probably. And uh, so I just didn't want to do that. I did accept this Uber Eats order for 2.7 miles for $11, but I found out it was going to be eight items. It would be a frustrating experience. And so I guess if I'm in this shopping area, uh, I do see a lot more restaurants. I feel like we can get a better order at some point, maybe like, even if it's like $7 for like two miles, but it's a restaurant where I don't have to shop for the items, I think that'll be more beneficial. Some time has passed and I haven't received another order, but I still don't feel bad about not taking that Uber Eats Safeway order. Like I just, I don't wanna shop right now. Like shopping is not really my thing. Well, I guess you just can't be too picky in this area because I got an Uber Eats order for $13, 8.6 miles and I accepted it. I, there's just no point of waiting around any longer. Like I need to make some money and yes, I'm being productive. I'm answering YouTube comments and stuff. So like, it's not like I'm just sitting here doing nothing, but it's time to actually start making some money from delivery driving. So accepted it. I got to go to Panera now, except for having to park extremely far away because I was in a mall area. Like Panera was pretty good. Got that one picked up and then Cafe Zupa's aside from having to park really far away again because we're still in the same mall. Uh, it was actually a really bad experience. I almost had to wait 10 minutes in the restaurant to receive the food. It, there were like five employees in there, five or six, and the line just kept building and building, but nobody was working on the food and like nobody was like getting the customers in the door. They were all just like doing their own thing. So interesting, but then we got the first one dropped off. We had to use the freeway and uh, then we drove by some areas that were kind of interesting. Most of my driving that wasn't on the freeway kind of looked like this, just like open dirt lots, some mountains. A lot of the roads were just like really bumpy. They haven't been paved in years and uh, it was just an interesting experience. So for the uh, first hour exactly, made that $13 or whatever it was. So it dropped us off in a kind of decent area. I wanna say that just because like I can see two or three restaurants like right around us, but 
I don't know if I should go all the way back to that hotspot to the mall. I feel like I should because that's the only place where Uber Eats says it's busy. There was an Instacart order that just like flashed on my phone and it was, I even got a screenshot of it. It's like $26 to shop at Best Buy for a laptop. I think that's what it was, but I've never done a Best Buy order. I'm sure it would have been not too bad, but a shopper uh, claimed it before I could get to it. So I'm like, all right, like that's fine. We'll continue with food delivery. See if there's anything out there for me to take. Oh yeah, right before I dropped that one off, I got an offer for $14 for 11 miles. I just, I just could not do it. 11 miles? Like where is that gonna take me? Who knows? I was just, I guess I was just fortunate that I got that last offer dropped me off in a not too terrible location. I mean, we still haven't received another order, but like 11 miles could be anywhere. And like, I'm not gonna be out here forever. I don't, I can't just drive 11 miles outside of where I wanna be. Okay, $3 for 1.5 miles. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Like, I don't think they tipped. And if they did tip, they only tipped $1 maximum. Like, I, I hope I'm not being too picky. Like, it's just like, these, some of these orders are just absolutely crazy. If I was in my normal area, I would still be at zero accepts right now, but I just felt like I had to take that last stack. And now like getting some of these, I'm like, it just doesn't make sense. Like I can't take any of those. We finally got a DoorDash order. Unfortunately, it's $8 for 7.7 .7 miles. And then I would have to drive 7.7 .7 miles back to my area. I'm sorry, Mr. Beast, I cannot deliver your burgers. That is just way too far. I will not make a profit on that. Okay, DoorDash making a serious appearance. $6.50, 3.6 miles. Of course, not like a great order or anything, but there could be a hidden tip on this. You know, I, I don't know how high it could go, but actually, it probably won't go high at all. It'll probably stay at $6.50, but at least it's an order and it's not terrible. I made the decision that if it's not an absolutely trash order, I might as well accept it. Okay, we had to wait about, I wanna say 10 minutes in the restaurant because they didn't have the order in their system. So that was really, really bad, but then I was off to the customer, went off to the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Is that a jail? Is that a prison? Maybe. I was then able to drop off the order. Then we started getting some bad orders from Uber Eats. All right, these are terrible. Like, I don't want those. Like, get those out of my face. Then got some DoorDash orders. What is up with that? Don't need that. And then Uber Eats, look at this one. Ooh, over $11 for, I know this is a, long order, but I'll take it. Sure, let me accept that. Right after that happened, I got another order. Only an additional like eight or nine minutes, whatever it says it was, for like less than a mile and I'm gonna get $8. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. Well, I could not find parking at Buffalo Wild Wings. Like I was, cause I'm in a mall area, right? There's like never any parking at malls. And so I'm just like driving around, can't find anything. And the closest parking spot was at Panera. So I just picked up the second order first and then I went for the Buffalo Wild Wings. Got those two orders dropped off and uh, dare I say it, it wasn't bad. That was okay, decent, nice. I've, like $19, what it was, like maybe even $20 for like 40 minutes of work. Okay, I mean, it's, oh, I still have to drive back to the hotspot because I am not anywhere close. But like, I'm kind of factoring that in. So maybe like 45 minutes total for $20. Like, okay, okay. That is something that is reasonable. Hi, I have a DoorDash order. We got another one and it's not that bad. 650 Taco Bell for two and a half miles. The only problem is the lobby is closed. So I had to go through the drive-thru and the drive-thru is packed. And so like, I have to probably wait like five or 10 minutes to receive the food. But like, honestly, that's not an issue at all because I either had to drive like four miles back to that hot spot, or I could just get this order, wait like five, 10 minutes and then deliver it to the customer. So like, I would probably take waiting five or 10 minutes over driving the four miles and then hoping to get an order. So this one works out well. All right, and the straw's in the bag. 
All right, thank you. That Taco Bell order was not $6.50. It turned out to be $7. So that's pretty cool. Now, I am done for the day. I made $46 from $13.50 coming from DoorDash and about $30 coming from Uber Eats, but it's gonna be a little bit more than $30. So like about $46 total. It's just like, I wanted to try it out for two and a half hours just to see how it went. And uh, I did not enjoy it, but we made about $18 an hour in revenue. So like, I can't complain too much, especially cause I was delivering in the middle of nowhere. Like I was surprised that there was a lot of homes here, just like no restaurants. Like I had to drive all the way back to the hotspot almost every single time. Definitely not worth it if you can find an area that is close to you that has a ton of restaurants, a ton of businesses that can order food during the day, a ton of houses, like that's where you wanna be. You don't wanna be out here in the middle of nowhere because who knows when your next order can even pop up on your phone. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you next time.